What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Choice Band Cinderace and Guts Hariyama for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to both these Pokemon, we're going to talk about Cinderace first because everybody loves the fire starter from Sword and Shield. Cinderace has Liberal as its ability, which actually allows it to change typing depending on what move it uses. So dope little ability right there actually gives it stab damage to make it do more damage, or you could use it as like a defensive kind of play. It works out really well. But like I mentioned, it is holding the choice band as item. So this Pokemon is here for big time damage. It's got the fire terror type with flare blitz, U-turn for pivoting, sucker punch for first turn priority. And last but not least, if we're feeling lucky, high jump kick. Great coverage move, but if you miss, you're taking some big time recoil damage. Now, like I already mentioned, we have Guts Hariyama on today's team as well, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. With no Paradox Pokemon allowed in this format, Hariyama kind of serves as like a, a worse Iron Hands that's still pretty good. So I do like this Pokemon a lot. It's got Guts, Flame Orb with close combat, Knock Off, Heavy Slam to deal with Fairy types, and last but not least, it has Fake Out, you know, to allow other Pokemon to do big time damage or allow our King Gambit to set up with Sword Stance. Now our final four Pokemon include Primarina, Electabuzz, King Gambit, and Sinistra. Primarina is going to be a great special attacker with the choice specs. Electabuzz and Sinistra, our two support Pokemon. And King Gambit, like I already said, has Sword Stance, can set up and be a big time physical force. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Another code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Cinderace and Guts Hariyama. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an expanding force team. They got Indeedee, they got Hisuian Braviary, they got Sneasler, they also have Torkoal, they got Alcreme, and last but not least, they got Carbink. So this is like a trick room slash like expanding force kind of team, something that we are going to have to watch out for. But to deal with expanded force, we could always bring King Gambit. Nice little dark type can do a lot of work. We are still going to have to watch out for Torkoal here. Torkoal is definitely a scary Pokemon, but Cinderace with Flare Blitz, Choice Ban, and do a massive amounts of damage so i think i'm gonna, just gonna end up leading that i am gonna go into king gambit and boom 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 hariyama's actually not bad here do i want to lead hariyama maybe over another pokemon it has 71 speed i actually like hariyama here you know we're gonna go into hariyama it has knockoff uh we're gonna end up leading hariyama instead of cinderace here we'll bring cinderace for late game and last but not least did we go electabuzz maybe Electabuzz ain't bad, especially with Eerie Impulse. I like Electabuzz. It's a nice little support Pokemon. They want to go into special attackers like Torkoal, Braviary, or even that male in DD. We can legit just throw an Eerie Impulse in that slot, lower their special attack, and kind of just pass their own away, which is really good for us. So we'll see how they want to play this one. Definitely a cool team. So we're going cool team up against cool team. That's what I love about this format or this regulation is you see a lot of cool off meta teams rather than the other previous formats. Where it was like, if you're not using these legendary Pokemon, you were just losing straight up. This format, you could definitely get away with more off meta teams. So, love it so far. Love it so far. So, we'll see who they want to end up leading. I'm guessing they want to lead like Indeedy. And if they do that, we can't fake out. But I don't think I really want to fake out anyway. I think I'd rather just go for like a knockoff or even like a close combat and just look to get off some big time damage. Let's just see who they end up leading here. Gonna be Indeedy and Carbink. Now, Carbink can set up Trick Room. That's the scary part. And Indeedy's gonna be the one to actually pop Expanded Force. Expanded Force, obviously scary, especially up against Hariyama. Might just wanna end up hard swapping it. Um, hmm. Instead of Sword Stance, we're just gonna go straight for Kowtow Cleave. And honestly, I might just Heavy Slam here. I might just go Water Terror, Heavy Slam, because there is a chance that you actually Terrasilize into Fairy. But I could just actually send it into Carbink. We're just going to send it into Carbink. Let's do it. Just in case we get like a Protect from Ndidi. So I'm going to end up Thrasilizing my Hariyama. Really don't want to be a fighting type Pokemon next to a Ndidi. That is just a big time problem for us. So I'm going to end up going into our Water type. And instead of faking out because we can't, we're just going to drop a nice little Heavy Slam. So there's that. Expanded Force is going to fly. It's not going to affect my King Gambit. And Hariyama is going to soak, but not that much. Heavy Slam's going to fly here and bring you down to 1 HP. You got Sturdy. Of course you got Sturdy. So Sturdy's going to come out here. Kowtow Cleave should finish off Indeedy, no problem. Bye-bye. And now we're sitting here. It's like, all right, you're going to pop Trick Room. We already know that. And Torkoal might come out here. And this is where we kind of have a slight issue, right? This is where we have a slight issue. My Guts is going to trigger... Torkoal, most likely going to come out here, and if it does, how are we going to play this one? I have Cinderace. 
Please don't be Torkoal. How about that? How about that? Torkoal seems like it could just like fully flourish out here and win the game. Especially because I just used my Terra. It's definitely Torkoal. It's gotta be. No, it's Braviary. All right, cool. I'm cool with Braviary. I'm cool with Braviary. The problem here is I cannot, uh, I cannot Sucker Punch, which really grinds my gears. But I'm just gonna go for a Cathar Cleave into this slot, and if I can, I'd love to just pull off a knockoff. Let's see. Endeavor's gonna come out here. Of course you got Endeavor. Of course you got Endeavor. At least Cathar Cleave's gonna launch. And just KO you. All right, cool. So we're gonna pick up the double KO. So they thought in Trick Room that. They would be slower, and actually Trick Room's helping us out. So this is really good. Endeavor doing big time damage into my uh, King Gambit, bringing it down to 1 HP. But now it turns into a simple 1v4, right? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it all day. And the only problem would be Torkoal, and I think it is Torkoal. Because I don't have Protect on any of these Pokemon. Um, and now it's going to be Sneasler. All right, so we outspeed it. Thanks for playing. Good game. Awesome, so I can do that. I can go into a heavy slam, which would probably do more damage to close combat, but I'm still gonna go for close combat. Just because guts, all that good stuff. But they end up canceling. No Torkoal kinda saves us. Wanna know to get things started. Moving on to match number two, and King Gambit and Hariyama brought out the brooms match number one. What a way to get this video started. Going up against another little trick room team. They got ourselves Hatterene, Indeedee, alongside with Ursaluna. They got Wide Guard. Lead, which is a Pokemon I'm gonna have to watch out for because Wygard seems to always get me. Then they got Torkoal and Hisuian Logan. Now, Torkoal Logan seems like a combo that can really just break me down and just destroy me. So I gotta watch out for that. Hariyama's not a bad lead here, especially because of fake out. Um, obviously, we have knockoff, which is a great move. So I am gonna end up leading Hariyama as it's a rather slower Pokemon. I could maybe just go like Electabuzz, but again, I'm really scared of just Torkoal Logan here. Definitely terrified of it. But still. Gonna go into Hariyama. Do I want to lead like the Buzz? Yeah, I'm cool with that. We're gonna go like the Buzz here for the lead. So elect the Buzz with the lead. We could honestly just go into Sinisha instead. And you know what? We're gonna do that. We're gonna go Sinisha here. You do a Fire Terror, don't you? Fairy Terror. All right, that actually works out good. We're going Sinisha here for the lead. Sinisha Hariyama. I like that. We'll go Cinderace for late game. And last but not least, either King Gambit or Primarina. And I'm kind of leaning towards King Gambit here. Especially with, like, you know, the size spam. Expanded Force. You got to have that Dark type on your squad. So, Sinisha's coming out here. If they go into, like, Pokemon that could pop Trick Room, I could just try to cancel Trick Room. Or I can go for a Calm Mind, start boosting, and then cancel Trick Room. Because, I mean, Hariyama's solid Pokemon. It's not a bad Pokemon within Trick Room. All right, let's see what you got here. Let's see what you're rolling out with. Indeedy Hatterene. All right, so, I mean... Follow me, Trick Room, seems like a must. Do I want to use my Terra now? That's the real question. Do I want to use the Terra right now? I could Sarastalize into water, or I could just straight up attack with knockoff. I feel like it's got to be Follow Me, Trick Room, right here. So, you know, I'm going to make a read. I'm not even going to pop my, uh... I'm not even going to pop my Terra... I'm just going to predict follow me trick room, and I'm going to try to cancel out that trick room. Yep, there's follow me. As long as they're not using expanded force, we should be fine here. Knockoff's going to fly here. Bop, big time damage. Show me the pop of trick room. Show me your pop of trick room. They are definitely popping trick room, because Sinisha went first. So I go trick room, they go trick room, we cancel it out. Um, That's not a bad turn, because another knockoff will KO this Ndidi. And I think Hariyama's faster. I Still think I should potentially like Terrasalize here. Maybe go for a Calm Mine. So yeah, I'm going to Terrasalize it. I am going to launch a knockoff and I am just going to go for a Calm Mine. A lot of special attackers. Do I want to save my Terror? No, we're just going to go for a Calm Mine here. I'm going to make this play because there is a there is a chance now that they're sitting here like, hey, they're popping Trick Room. I'm not even going to touch Trick Room. There is a chance that that might happen. And if it does, if they... uh end up not going for it we're gonna be able to get off some big time damage but if they do go for trick room i mean hopefully sinisha can be bulky enough to kind of you know pop another trick room to cancel that one out so helping hand gonna come out here see i knew it i knew it. this still might actually do it too much damage to me it's getting ugly it's getting ugly luckily i'm calm mind boosting i should have went for heavy slam into hatterene and hariyama do you outspeed 
You do. Beautiful. So Hariyama at least gets off his shot. He's going to be able to take you out. Can it soak up this next one? Or this expanded force? Because we know Helping Hand expanded force is flying. Yeah, getting real ugly. How much damage is doing? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I hate this combo, man. <laughs> at least Trick Room's not on the field. That gives us a shot to win the game. But dude, that's so ugly, man. Helping Hand expanded force. I love using it because, you know, it just does a ridiculous amount of damage like you guys just seen. Like, I'm 223 HP and 173 with a special defense boost. That's just ugly. That's just ugly. And now I don't want my Terra. I Thrasilize to soak up an Expanded Force. I wasn't expecting the, the whole Helping Hand Life Orb kind of boost. But Gallade comes out here, which is good news. Um, I don't really want to see the Torkoal. And from here, we also got the Cinder. I could go dark type here, but then I'd be choice into this, which really would suck. Um, I just choice into Flare Blitz. Let's be honest here, this has a shot of KO in you. Or I could send it this way, and then just go like Iron Head this slot. Do it. Actually, I, well, thank God I didn't choice into Sucker Punch. I can't even use it. <laughs> I can't even use it. Terrain's out here. So we'll see a nice little Terrasalization, probably from Hatterene. No, Gallade's going to get it. And Gallade's going to go straight Grass. Bye-bye, Gallade, unless you're Sashed. Unless you're Sash, bye bye. Grass Terra flies out here. We're throwing Flare Blitz in that slot. Bye bye, Gallade. Unless you're Focus Sash. Bye bye, Gallade. And they waste their Terra, just like how we wasted our Terra. So hopefully, King Gambit should be able to outspeed here. Drop a nice little Iron Head, pick up a KO, and turn this into a 2v1 situation. Would be rather nice. Would be rather nice. And there goes Iron Head. Bop. Bye bye, Hatterene. So, first match, we showcased Hariyama really well. Second match. Your boy Cinderace doing a lot of work. And it's 2v1. We could definitely still lose this one because I think it is Torkoal. No, it's going to be Ursuline. And it's fine. That's fine. I mean, it is definitely scary. It has no double hitting moves. So I can go for Flare Blitz and a Kowtow Thieve. Which is great news. And we'll look to win this one. So Flare Blitz going to launch. Probably should do about half with the Choice Band. Yeah. And Kowtow Cleave, can you clean this one up? I think we win this one regardless, right? Yeah, cool. You clean this one up. Dope. I was going to say, you have no double hitting moves, so we were going to be able to attack next turn anyway. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting 2-0. Moving on to our third and final match. Going up against a pretty strong meta team here for Regulation H. We are sitting 2-0, so we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. They got Amoongus. They're rocking out with Incineroar, Grimmsnarl. Then they got Annihilate, Dragonite, and Golden Go. So pretty strong team right here. How are we going to play this one? Um, they could lead Grimmsnarl for screens, which could get rather annoying. They could also lead Incineroar. I think going into King Gambit here is probably our best bet. Maybe trying to set up Sword Dance. So I'm going to end up going into him. I think I'm just going to end up going into Electabuzz as well. While they try to set up screens, all that good stuff. We're going to try to set up Sword Dance. We'll bring Hariyama and our Choice Band Pokemon for a late game. Cinderace. Let's do it. 2-0. Looking for that perfect record. Would love a perfect record with this squad. I love Hariyama. I don't know why. I just always like this Pokemon ever since I played ruby sapphire and emerald as a kid hariyama has always just been such a dope pokemon it really has been i use it on a few of my teams for uh playthroughs for that game but i always tend to like not use it i don't know why because i feel like most of the time i just pick other pokemon because gen 3 have such cool pokemon all around they really do they really do but we're gonna end up going annihilate alongside with grimmy grim and from here i think maybe dragon terror swords dance probably your play Actually, let's just Swords Dance Saber Terra. And just go for Follow Me. A little bit of Follow Me action. Yeah, so instead of wasting our Terra turn one, we'll save it. We'll go for a Follow Me with Electabuzz. And let's see if they set up a Reflect. Yeah, they are going to set up a Reflect. No big deal for me. I don't mind that too much, especially after I can get off the Swords Dance. And I wonder if he's going for Bulk Up. He is. Alright, so Bulk Up comes out here. Fair game. Fair game. So he bulks up. I Swords Dance. I might actually do it again. Might actually go for another Sword Dance. Might be my play. We are going to do it. Sword Dance, follow me. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. If they go for another bulk up, we'll be Sword Dance plus four on attack. And they'll be plus two on defense and attack. I'm just going to do this again. Give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. Drain Punch going to launch. We should soak this all day. And Spear Breaks gonna also launch here, so that's why I maybe soak this all day as well. Nice little bulky Pokemon. My special attack is going to drop. Sword Sand is going to fly. We're sitting plus four. 
through ref through reflect, how much damage are we gonna do with this Kalthog? So obviously, I can just Iron Head KO you, but an Eye is a bigger threat, so I'd rather just go into a Kalthog Cleave here and just spam another follow me. Would definitely rather do that, especially if you are going for Spirit Break. Drain Punch would probably KO me here, and Spirit Break would fly into my King Gambit, and we can Defiant Boost that. He goes for another bulk up. That's fine. That is fine, because if you're going for another Spirit Break, I'm able to soak that. Yep, Spirit Break launches. Soak this. Thank you very much. And Kathak Cleave launches. Kathak Cleave, how much damage are we doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got Barry. That's fine. Barry's odd on Annihilate, but it's working here. I really like that damage. So from here, I know Drain Punch is scary, but I'm going to go for an Iron Head in this slot. And just follow me, because there is a chance that Annihilate protects here. Knowing that we're just launching Kathak Cleaves. Yep, there it is. There it is. So I still go for follow me. He's going to take out my Electabuzz. I'm going to take out his Grimmsnarl. Not bad for us. And I still have Terra. I still have this Terra type. Spirit Break flying. But we soak. And this next turn is our time to actually just like double down to this Annihilate. Not bad. Not bad. So he has Reflect Up, which is huge. We got a crit. I mean, that was KO regardless. We're plus four on attack. And then I leave sitting here as a scary Pokemon on the field. I don't have Protect, which is kind of sucks. And I got to go in the Cinderace here, which I am going to do. I think I just had to double down to this Annihilate. I could go Sucker Punch just so we don't take any damage. But the Cinderace is going to come out here. So he's going to Defiant Boost me. He's going to be able to fake me out. Which, oh, man. That's ugly. I wish I had Protect. I feel like I have to Terrasalize King Gambit now. Because you have to be faking out and Drain Punching. You just have to be. You just have to be. So I'm going to Terrasalize. If I can pull off a Sucker Punch, I will. But I'm going to go for a high jump kick here. No, I'm not. I'm just going to Flare Blitz this slot down. I'm just going to Flare Blitz this slot down. We have to we have to deal damage to Annihilate. My Hariyama can clean up this Incineroar. It really can. I wish I had Protect here. I really wish I had Protect. Really wish we had Protect. Hmm. Alright, so Annihilate is going to click that Terror button. Go into Fighting Terror. So he's, he's looking to rock me with this Strain Punch. He's looking to rock me with this Strain Punch. Flare Blitz should be able to do respectable damage. I know he's plus two on defense. But the problem here is I, I know he's faking out this King Gambit. You just have to. You can't leave a plus six King Gambit. Actually, plus five attack boost to King Gambit on the field. You just can't. The thing is, if we can bypass this fake out turn and actually soak up the shot, we'd be sitting in a nice position with Sucker Punch ready to roll. But fake out is going to go into that slot. Wow. Sucker Punch now launches. It's not going to be able to KO, though. Incinerate's going to flinch here. Drain Punch going to launch. How much damage is this doing? Not enough. All right, cool. Do we read Annihilate Protecting? I gotta go for Sucker Punch and Flare Blitz. I gotta. I gotta. Don't protect here. There's no way you protect after we, we read that last protect. This is legit the game right here. This is a huge part of the game. If he protects here, he just wins. If he protects here, he wins this game. Don't protect. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Come on now. Don't do me like that. Oh, that hurts. Especially the fighting terror, too. Get rid of its dark weakness. Or not weakness. Make it not very effective. Knock off flies. Cinderace actually... Hold up. Give me a shot. Give me a chance. Take off my choice span. All right. All right. Now I see where we're saying. I'm ripping a high jump kick in this slot. I'm taking on Cinderace. I don't have Libera, but this should still be able to deal some nice damage. Go for Sucker Punch. He's going for bulk up here. Wow. High jump kicks going to launch here. Libera's going to change. We end up landing it, which is huge. And actually, that doesn't even KO. I mean, we are intimidated, and this is just... Yeah, it's not looking good for us. Not looking good for us, unless we get a crit with the Sucker Punch. Really the only way. Knockoff's going to fly. Cinderace's still soaking. Um, we need a crit with 
one of our moves. We need a crit here. We need a crit because we're not winning this one without an with annihilate off the field. If you protect again, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset if I fall for the protect again. I just think we have to attack this Pokemon because we lose this one regardless. Like if annihilate stays on the field, we just lose. We just lose. This thing's plus three on defense and attack. Sucker Punch is gonna launch. We're like crit. Can I get a crit here with Flare Blitz? Send me a crit, maybe. Oh my paper towel. Paper towel. That's the definition of a paper towel. That did that did that did nothing. That did nothing. King Gambit's able to soak. Knock off my black glasses. Drain punch gonna fly. Who's he KOing with this one? Let's say bye bye to King Gambit. So high jump kick can stay on the field here. Um Only way I win this is with the crit. Only way I could possibly win is with a crit. Only possible way. It's simple. It's the only possible way. Reflect's gone. Reflect is gone. I, got, I actually kind of forgot about Reflect a little bit. And I think we just have to fake out you. And send a high jump kick this way. Kind of play off of that. Now fake out. Chipping up a little bit of damage. High jump kick going to land. We'll say bye bye to Incineroar. Um, oh man. Man oh man. Now they're going to flinch. Alright. Cool. Blame over trigger. We got guts. Honestly, a close combat. Plus three though. Dragonite. Oh man. Really, Dragonite? Really? E speed ready to fly. We gotta go for close combat right here. Go to close combat, you down. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, might as well just try to chip up damage. You're gonna go for E speed, yeah, I'm dead. So, Cinder is gone. Plus three, Drain Punch. Might just KO me. Rage Fist, actually. Rage Fist. Hitting into me. And yeah, that's just, that's plenty of damage. GG's, we go through one for today's video. I feel like we rocked out with this Hariyama and Cinder scene. Just Annihilate getting after us in match number three. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with Hariyama and Cinderace in Regulation H. Had a ton of fun with these guys. Guts Hariyama doing big time damage. Choice Band Cinderace doing big time damage. How much more damage do you guys want? We went 2 and 1. We grabbed ourselves a winning record. Would have loved a 3 0 perfect record. But again, Annihilate, just going crazy. I feel like I always struggle up against Annihilate. We'll get after it one day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.